All right, so this is gonna be a little bit of a mix uh, update video. I've got, well, let me tell you about the mix. So part one of this, or the one purpose of this, uh, this uh, discussion is to update you on the work that I just accomplished. The other purpose of this video is to uh, ask my buddies, Marty and Ola, who are woodworkers both, uh, what I might do about some issues that I'm having with this property. And now that I have, uh, I figured uh, I have some photos, but it might be easier if I have some video to actually just show them uh, the, the, uh, the specific problems that are going on. And then I can talk through kind of the things that I'm thinking and then send it to them. And uh, then you get to listen as long as well. So I have all of the nails from the ceiling drywall removed from the kitchen, from the dining room, and from the living room. So you can see my floor is uh, just uh, filthy covered again. I made a new mess. <laughs> All right, so that is the update. I didn't get any work done in uh, with that. I will uh, save that for, for tomorrow. So Marty or I have some wood rot the lovely, lovely nature of wood and water. Um, as you can see, it is, uh, that is uh, the outside of my window uh, box uh, completely gone and it is rotted through pretty badly, uh, including the uh, ship lath uh, and the stone masonry on the outside is, is exposed right there. I believe um, the stone masonry is, uh, secured via these wires to uh, the inside and there might be more of those things but there's rot all the way along here the j studs and let me pop on my stool so that i can better show you uh, this glorious bird's nest so there's this uh tin uh panel that was installed there. I'm sure that was to block the animals that had made uh, one gigantic nest all the way back in here. So the road, wood rock pretty much goes uh, all the way to here. So there was some really, you can see there's a roof repair work right there. There's some water damage, evidence of water damage on the, uh, the ceiling rafters. Um, I'm actually not sure. Tell me if these are rafters, ceiling joists, what do you call these things? I know that those are rafters. What are these? I mean, I've been calling them rafters. I guess whatever. So uh, some rot around the, the, the door, a header and J studs here um, and rot all. So pretty much this entire wall here is, is rot. It's pretty good on the other side. Um, but the box, the window box, the uh, header, the J studs um, are pretty much rotten. Uh, there's, you can see that this uh, uh, this header, this wall header is a little rotten there. I, but it looks like, I'm not sure if that was, it looks like it was scraped out. Like maybe there was some rot there and someone took a screwdriver to uh, scrape away the rot that was there. Uh, the wood uh, otherwise seems okay. Um, there's a uh, rot in this. Oh, I missed a nail. Um, there's rot in this rafter and um, this rafter junction, I guess you can call it, that kind of uh, starts in. So I'm, I'm thinking, you can see that there's a replacement there. So I'm, I'm thinking that there was, the leak was here and came down and rotted everything away. Also, uh, you know, I think eventually it opened up that hole there that uh, allowed animals coming. This the entire cavity from from the rot there to the rot over here was uh, compacted with uh, nesting materials and stuff like that. So, um, my uh, thoughts on repairing this, and I'm sure you'll concur, because uh, I know Marty, you. Uh, mentioned once before this method, but let me clean my lens real quick. Um, I, uh, uh, before I rip out the uh, wall supporting members in the box and everything here, I'm going to expose the wall 
back to the shiplath um, up until the corner of this room. Before I do that, I'm going to uh, nail a 2x4 to the floor. I'm going to uh, secure a 2x4 to the rafters above, and then I'm going to timber uh, a temporary wall to take the load of the ceiling so that as I remove stuff, this is supported. So that is my plan to temporary wall here, maybe, you know, uh, pretty close so that I, that I have most of the weight supported uh, on both sides. And then I can uh, start yanking um, timbers from the wall the Jace does and everything. I can just clear out the framing all along here and expose the shiplath um, in the wall, which I can then peel away, um, clean the stone along the back. Um, I'm going to see maybe I can cement or secure some some wire hooks um, into it just so I can make sure that the top of that masonry wall is well supported when I frame things back in I can tie it back to the wall I don't see anything that's doing that now so I might not be might not be so bad to just leave it as is but I figured if I'm going to expose it I might as well reinforce it while I have it so uh, I want to clean it all. Um, uh, I, I put some uh, some moisture barrier uh, against the stone, and then from the inside of the house, uh, reinstall new shiplath um, around the wall, and then put the framing back in. Um, I don't know if that is um, a solid plan or not. Um, the, uh, the drawbacks that I, well, cause the only other option I can see is to do it from the outside, which requires me to remove the stone, um, fascia. I don't want to have to re you know, rip all this out to, uh, get that work done. Um, there's that tin that's been cleverly painted and doesn't look like tin, but it is, um, yeah, this, uh, this is just too expensive of a job to do that, and uh, uh, I don't want to. So, um, I think from the inside it is, then uh, to reattach the shiplath, the new replaced shiplath to the new framing that I'm going to put in, uh, I was just going to screw um, um, many screws from the, um, from the stud to the shiplath so that I can anchor it from this side and pull it in. Maybe I can use flooring screws to do that so that it does that, that laminating effect. That is my plan there. Uh, let me know what you think about that. Let me grab my uh, step ladder. I created a little pond in here from a slowly leaking cooler. Oh, well. Oop. Let me close my water closet door so I can get through to the master bedroom. Master bedroom still has all the nails in the ceiling. Uh, this was, there was a lot of uh, um, water damage from a leaky roof. Many, many leaks in the roof, which eventually got repaired apparently by the former uh, owner. So uh, there was a hole in the ceiling, literally, uh, that uh, came into this room. Um, and that was created by the pooling water in this corner. You can see the rot here is pretty severe. Um, again, it is, uh, it's the, um, the header, the wall header, the window header. Um, uh, the J studs seem to be pretty good. Once the water got through to that point, it kind of leaked out the top of the window and ran down the inside of the wall. Um, uh, down to the floor. My plan for uh, repairing this wall and this header is pretty much the same uh, for what I'm going to be planning for the kitchen. It's just putting up a support, you know, temporary support wall to support the roof. I might uh, uh, sister in some new lumber on the rafters that are rotten up to the uh, the new header that I'm putting in. So, so this uh, this rafter right here has rot in that corner. So my plan is I could sister it back like six feet or something like that and nail it or bolt it together and then get it to uh, sit on that sill. Um, I might uh, support 
this area and cut the rot out um, and put in a, a new piece of lumber in and sister it. Um, add some sistering. I want to um, wherever I see kind of rot in rafters, I'm gonna I'm gonna sister some new lumber in there just so that there's uh, good solid material supporting this roof. Those are my questions for the two of you, and then all everyone else who's watching this. Um, I'll, I guess I will report back with the findings and uh, let y'all know what uh, advice I, I I gather from from this. So I have to go to work and. Um, I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday, so I will get a full day in. This place is going to be cleaned and prepped and ready to start electrical work. That's going to be the next step. So, after cleaning, <laughs> after cleaning up messes. All right, I gotta go, bye.